Municipal Spotlight returns with our Ford Fun Fact. And a fun fact, this one is as we zero in on the world of competitive gaming. That's right, it's called eSports. All the talk about parents thinking video games are a distraction and what have you. Well, now they're not only handing out championships for your ability to play them, but also scholarships. Yeah, paying for that education, mom and dad, to eSports student athletes. As you can see here, Denton Geyer, pretty good at them as they won the state championship last week, bringing Denton ISD its first ever eSports title. And we welcome you back to High School Spotlight, where we pride ourselves on being a home for inspiring comeback stories, like the one we have for you today out of Prosper, Texas. And here to share it is our Katie Engelson. Prosper High School junior Michaela Noble's story is one of perseverance. The world-class cheerleader is inspiring hundreds of thousands around the world by sharing her struggles and victories, hoping to impact others also dealing with adversity. It really has given me a purpose and it's made me feel like, all right, God put me on this earth and it's to inspire people and to teach people and help people learn about, just learn from my, my process and my accident. She's always been such a positive person and just full of life. Um, but you never know when somebody has an injury like this, you know, how, to, how it will change her. On September 20th, 2021, Michaela Noble was practicing for a homecoming performance in a friend's backyard when she was involved in a life-altering accident. I ended up flipping halfway and landing straight on my throat on the grass in the yard. And it, it was, it was, a very odd feeling. I've never felt anything like that before. When I hit the ground, as crazy as it sounds, I knew I was paralyzed. They were like, um, she can't move her legs, and we've called the ambulance. And it was at that moment that I realized, oh my gosh, this is serious. Michaela was immediately transported to the hospital where she underwent surgery that night. The Prosper High School junior was told she had a severe spinal cord injury. Michaela was paralyzed. This was just the beginning of her road to recovery. When I get my voice back and can talk, I'll make lots of videos. I'm out of the ICU. I'm out of the ICU. After three weeks. After three weeks. Finally. Finally. And I'm in rehab. I'm in rehab. I love it. I love it. And I improved tremendously from there. I got to work on physical therapy and occupational therapy and got to get in a wheelchair and just really regain a lot of my strength. I was still in a neck brace and a chest brace 24 seven, which was crazy. So I had a lot of limitations of what I could and couldn't do. And then I've been home since then and still doing therapy constantly and just recovering. Michaela and her family moved from Indiana to Texas in 2015. That is when Michaela flourished and when her mom, Jen, realized cheerleading was Mac's gift. She's such a hard worker and she had goals. And she was like, I want to go to college, I want to cheer in college, and I would pick her up after school. A lot of times we'd eat dinner in the car on the way to cheer practice, competitive cheer, and then she'd practice till 10 o'clock at night. I think that that's why she's doing so much now after her accident is because it's just where how she thrives and does her best is by staying busy, pushing herself. I feel like I can't really do anything by myself. And so I'm going to do my own makeup. I was not a makeup artist before and I'm definitely not one now. Mm -hmm. Can you just kind of blend all this out for me, Actually, no, I can do it. <laughs> People told me to my face, doctors told me I would, I'd never be doing these things, and six months out, I'm already doing so many of those things, and you have to be on your A game every time you go in the gym. So I think I've kind of moved that mindset into therapy, that I know if I go in the gym or if I'm going into uh, rehab, that I'm gonna go and give it my 110%. I'm about to walk, which is, Crazy. I'm so excited. I'll be in an exoskeleton that goes around your body, around your legs, your arms. 
all of it and then it stains you up and it walks for you, which is super cool. It was so much fun. Are you vlogging right now? Yeah, look at Kayla! Regardless of her limitations, Michaela isn't letting her dreams disappear. She credits her mindset to cheerleading. That mentality is why she is accomplishing things she was told months ago she could never do. Surprise! I'm back and I'm doing school cheer. We were talking and she says, I think I want to try out. And I said, I'm down for it, let's do it. And she's been very open about the struggles that she's had and the down times that she's had, but she's never let one down moment get her down. I've had to adapt some things um, as a dance like you saw on Monday, but I'm gonna go and do it the best I can and do all that I can, Boomer. And give it my 110% energy and effort. I went from being so confident and strong and very assertive with my moves to now struggling just to get my arms up above this. Green. I can't clap. White. Green. Fight. Fight. Eagles fight. Tryouts went really well. I tried out after the practice with my coaches. She's seeing if she made the team. I made the team. Mom! I made the team too. Really excited she made the team. Today was so much fun. It was our first public event being a Prosper High School cheerleader for the 2022-2023 season and it was fabulous. And there will be a lot more cheer videos in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye. The high school All-American and world champion has drawn comfort from cheer, her faith, her family, friends, and her very own cheerleaders. Hundreds of thousands are inspired by Michaela's journey, especially the Prosper community, who has been cheering her on every step of the way. Not enough can be said about the support of Prosper. After Michaela's accident happened, it was homecoming. The whole town came out. There was purple shirts everywhere. The football team put a little purple heart on their runout tunnel. Michaela has found her purpose through her passion. Every day, she picks herself up and she's like, okay, let's go, let's conquer the day, you know? So I think that that's just why people have fallen in love with her story. Her attitude um, regarding her entire injury has just been one of, I'm grateful that I still have the opportunity to be here on this earth. And so as long as I'm here on this earth, I'm going to give every effort I can to do the best that I can. I'm very proud of where I am today. Um, looking back six months ago, I would not have thought I would be here doing all these things today, but it's, I don't know, it's different than what I planned out for my life, but I'm happy with it so far. Mm, I will tell you this much, this world needs more Michaela Nobles. Uh, and our Katie Engelson, of course, knows that as she joins us for more. What a tremendous story. I know you got to spend the, the day with Michaela and her family. I, I'm curious to know, what did you take away most from just your time with her? I took away so much. Um, I think the biggest thing is just her positive outlook on life, despite the circumstances that she's dealing with. Her mom, Jen, told me that she's always been such a positive person, such a bright light. But you never know how someone's going to react, what their response will be when they are you know, given a, a situation like this. Um, and I know Michaela has some big goals, one of which, and, and we didn't get to show that in that story, but is to walk at graduation. She was actually supposed to graduate a year early, which speaks to her work ethic and why she is making these tremendous strides. So she was supposed to graduate this year. She's only a junior, but she'll be graduating next year with the rest of her class. But a goal of hers is to walk across the stage at graduation. And I have no doubt in my mind that she'll be able to do that. Well, I think I speak for all of us. We're rooting for her. Yes. We're rooting for her to see yes. her walk across that stage. It is going to happen. She's an absolute beacon of light. And so we thank you for helping share that light with us here on the show.